you can see that it has perfectly detected all the objects in this particular image and it has labeled them as well which means that our engine file is now working perfectly fine hello and welcome to rocket systems youtube channel so in our previous video we discussed how we can convert the yolo v5 model into an intensor rt engine on jetson nano in this video we are going to follow the same steps but we are going to do that on the jetson jbl so if you want to convert your yolo model into tensor rt engine and if you have a jetson uh, Jetson Nano then I'll put the link of the description I'll put the link of that video into the description so you can watch that video but if you have a Jetson Xavier then you can watch this video till end because there are few steps uh, a bit different from what we did in the Jetson Nano so I have currently installed Jetpack uh, OS 4.6 version on my Jetson Xavier and I am into the default desktop uh, which comes with the pre-installed uh, version of the Jetpack OS. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to first switch to, into the XFCE environment because XFCE is very light and faster than the de de default desktop environment. So let me just quickly update first. Now I'm going to install xfce so once this xfce is installed then i'll boot into the xfce environment and from there we will uh, start our process okay so now i am inside the xfce environment and uh, let me just quickly update so now we'll uh, begin our process by first cloning the repository so this is the repository which I was talking about Jetson YOLO v5 so this repository contains all the scripts which you need in order to convert your YOLO v5 model into a TensorRT engine along with that this repository also contains some of the Python scripts which you can use in order to, to do inferencing using the TensorRT engine over a video file or a USB camera or an RTSP camera so we need to first clone this repository. I will put the link of this repository in the description box so you can uh, clone from there. So I'll just copy the path. And then let's move inside the documents directory first. And then let's clone it here. Okay, so this is done. Let's move inside the directory. So now I'm not going to go in much detail of explaining all the files here because I've already done that in my previous video where we converted the model on the Jetson Nano so you can watch that video but I'll just give you a quick idea so we have the setup.txt file which contains all the list of libraries and the packages which we need to install before we can start the conversion process the build process and then once all the libraries are installed inside this uh, file then this is the file which we can refer in order to convert uh, the YOLO model into the TensorRT so let's open up this file and then let's start uh, executing each command to install all the libraries so let's first uh, so here we have so let's update the system first and then let's copy this command to install all the packages perfect this is done now let's install the python 3 pip package manager and let's also update our python package manager okay so this is done now next thing which we need to do is we need to install the below python packages so the majority of the problem which you face is with the numpy because the numpy already comes pre-installed when you install the jetpack os so we need to first uninstall the numpy package so let's first quickly check which numpy is installed so 1.13.3 is installed let's uninstall this version first So make sure to first uninstall the numpy and then install the version which is mentioned in this particular file if you don't uninstall it and install another version then probably it might you might face some issues in future 
okay so numpy is uninstalled let's quickly verify it so if i type in import numpy it should throw me some error yeah so numpy is now uninstalled now let's install numpy pip install numpy equals to 1.19.0 let me just quickly verify and my zero yeah okay so numpy is now installed let's quickly verify it import numpy numpy version and we have the latest version sorry the version which we need now let's install some other packages so we'll start with pandas okay so pandas is also installed i think it was pre-installed now let's install another library which is pillow okay so pillow is also installed now let's install pyyml okay so pyyml is also installed now let's install what's the next scipy okay so scipy is also installed now let's next install psutils and for psutils we can install the latest version so that's fine okay so psutils is installed next let's install tqdm and then we'll install imutils okay so tqdm is also installed now last thing we need to install is imutils okay imutils is also now installed so all the python packages which we need is installed now next thing which we need to install is pycoda which is uh, also very important for uh, our use case now for pycoda we need to export few paths first so let's copy this and let's paste it here so that's one now let's do another one and now we can install pycuda using the package manager now one thing to note here is that do not type all this command by yourself because probably you'll make some mistakes so please clone the repository from there you'll find this file and then copy paste all the path here now pycuda installation can take up to five six minutes so we'll resume once that is done okay so the pycuda installation is now done during the installation you might see these some warnings or the error messages but you can safely ignore this because at the end pycuda uh, installs perfectly fine next thing we need to install is we need to install cbone so cbone can be installed using uh, python package manager but it takes a lot of time so we can install it using apt command Okay, Seabone is now installed. Now the last step remaining is to install Torch and Torch Vision. So in order to install Torch and Torch Vision, we cannot install it via pip package manager. So NVIDIA has, has released a specific article in order to show how you can install Torch and Torch Visions. So I have copied all the steps from there and pasted it here so, so that it's easy for us to follow, uh, follow them. But I'll put the link into the description so you can uh, go and watch that uh, article and then uh, you can install it. But anyways, these steps are well tested and they, they work perfectly fine. So we are going to install 1.10.0 Torch and then 0.11 version for uh, the Torch vision. So let's first download the wheel file for Torch. And let's move inside the downloads directory. Okay, so this is downloaded. Now let's run pip command in order to install torch. Okay, so torch is now successfully installed. Now let's uh, clone this repository in order to install torch vision. Okay, so repository is cloned. Let's move inside this and then run this command. Now, 
now torch vision installation can take up to 10 to 12 minutes so we'll resume the video once it's properly installed okay so torch and torch vision both are now installed so all the libraries and the packages which we needed are now installed so we'll close this setup file and we can now open the build file which is here so how this process works is that we first convert the pt file into a wts file and then once we have the wts file we then run some make commands and then once those commands are done then we start the build process from wts to engine file so i have already provided all these uh, files which you need so for this video purpose we are just going to uh, convert the YOLO V5S which is the small version or the nano, uh, nano version I would not recommend you to go with the, the large or the extra large version because they are very heavy models so they are probably not going to work uh, in a good manner so we are going to do we are going to convert the YOLO V5S model into the engine file so I have also provided the, uh, the model files here so you don't need to uh, download them separately you can just simply clone the repository so let's first copy this file and let's move inside our main directory where we have cloned this okay so let's paste this command and so this command will now convert the yolo v5s.pt file into the wts file so this can take up to five six minutes so we'll resume once it's done so the pt file is now converted into the wts files and uh, this is where it is now let's convert this wts file and build this into an engine file okay so for that we need to uh, move into the yolo v5 directory and then we'll create a build directory and copy the wts file inside that so let's move inside the yolo v5 directory and then here we will create another build directory let's move inside the build directory and then copy the wts file inside this so yolo 5s or wts now we will simply run the cmake command okay this is done now we can simply run the make command now Okay, so the make command is also completed. Now let's run the build command, which is going to build our engine file. Now this command can take up to 10 to 12 minutes in order to properly build the engine file. So we'll resume once that is done. Okay, so the engine file is now successfully built. We can close this um let's open up the term uh, directory yolo v5 build and here is our engine file this is the tensorrt uh, compiled engine file now let's do some inferencing over images and let's quickly test whether the engine file is working perfectly fine or not so in order to test this let's copy this command and let's paste it here and let's run this perfect so what it has done is that so we have few of the images saved inside this images directory so we have just quickly inferenced over these two images file and this and the output is saved inside the build directory so we can see that it has perfectly detected all the objects in this particular image and it has labeled them as well and then here you can also see these two persons are perfectly getting detected so which means that our engine file is now working perfectly fine and uh, i guess that's all for this video so in this video we just learned how we can convert the yolo v5 model into an tensor rt engine file on jetson xavier in our next video we will write a python script to do inferencing uh, over this engine file and then we'll probably use a video uh, to do the inferencing so that's all for this video thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel